Yeah. Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Thor Diamond. Welcome back to the great teams tournament of champions. So of course we had sixteen teams, eight matchups, first day. Um so today is a big day because this is the losers bracket match. It's as you see, the 96 Sonics against the 70 Pacers, the 2000 Lakers against the 72 Curdles, the 89 Pistons versus the 91 Blazers, and the 74 Nets <gasps> over the 93 Knicks. These matchups are critical because if you lose, you are eliminated from the tournament. It is a double elimination tournament. So we'll start in Kentucky by geographical standards. The 2000 Lakers. Uh, by Kobe and Shaq against the pairing of Dan Izzel and artist Gilmore, who later on went on to decent stuff in the NBA. Izzel with the Nuggets and Gilmore with the Chicago Bulls. So here we go. Let's tip off. Not really going through the starting lineups because I, read, I went through it for all 16 teams. Izzo with a bucket. Shaq for two. Good. Gilmore makes a bucket. And Shaq makes a bucket. Kobe with a shooting foul. And Gale, one free throw. Kobe misses another shot. And Gale makes a bucket. Rice misses, and Green picks up the loose ball foul. And a foul on Shaq on Artis Gilmore, who goes from one to two. And one, two, buckle my shoe. The Colonel's looking pretty good to start. And AC with the steal. And a bucket. Three pointer by Dan Pierre. Bonk. Misses. Lakers with the run and run pass. And Glenn Rice makes a bucket. Izzel. Oh, Gale with a shooting foul. Or he comes in for Green. Robert Kobe makes a bucket, going for the extra point. While well, O'Brien comes in for Dan Pierre. And Kobe gets the extra point. Good. Robert Ori, the man from Alabama. And one of the best clutch shooters ever. His three-pointer in 2000 against the, the Kings in the conference finals. Let's not talk about game six and the controversy. And I think that, yeah, game six was controversial. Game four, Ori at the buzzer. When Kobe and Shaq both missed key two-point buckets to tie the game, Ori took the three that win, and he made it. Pepper with the steal. No. O'Brien with the turnover. He's going on the way by right. No, and a foul though. Gale will hack at Colby. We'll make two free throws, but Gale stays in the game. I thought they were taking him out because of his two free throws. Roy with the steal. Two fouls, sorry. Is with a foul. Dampier comes in for Gale. So we'll lose Dampier back in the game. Kobe will make one free throw. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry about that. Back with the steel. My percentage shot missed. I remember the person with foul Fisher and Green are going to come in. Well, Green's back, but Derek Fisher, the man who hit that shot with 0.1 seconds left against the Spurs, but that was in 2004. Ori with the foul. Izzo, two free throws, good. Ori makes the two. Rice with the foul, but Powell botched everything. Since he foul, could not make it. And Dampier picks up a foul. 16 11 Lakers and Izzo still can't hit from the field. Rice is one for five as well. Rice, second personal foul. He's back. Oh, Brian Shaw comes in. Camp here for two free throws. Got him. Izzo with a block. And a damn pure turnover. Travis Knight coming in for AC Green. Travis freaking Knight, really? Rare play. Shaw with a post up move and got it. Nice job. Gilmore. Bucket there. Kobe's one for five. That's unusual. Flip shot. No, Gilmore can't do it. Flip shot. Good. Kobe. There you go. 
We put a tip. No. Foul? No. Gilmore misses a shot. Shaq comes back in the game for the Lakers. They're up by five. Pratt, Hunter, and Vigon coming for the Colonels. Another uh, positive shot. Well, Vigon will up the foul on Shaq. And as per usual, Shaq sets out three throws. Izzo makes a bucket. Reported by Kobe. No. Last break. O'Brien had good. Fisher for two. We gone for two. Good. Three pointer. Good. Brand shot with the big three point sh shot. Walt Simon and Iris Gilmer come back for the Colonels. Kobe with a shooting foul. His second. So Fox, the Canadian, comes in. Simon doesn't say anything about free throws. He misses. Reported by Fisher. Bonk. And Simon makes the bucket. Shaq bucket for six points. Fox with the foul on Simon, who will go back to the line. Dampier back in the game. And another, oh, well, good thing he made one. Shaw makes the bucket for seven points. And the Lakers have a 29-24 lead at the end of the quarter. At Freedom Hall, practically using everyone except for George and Celeste. And... Kentucky Carrier and Russell have yet to play. Final three minutes of the fourth quarter. That's why not. Shaw makes the bucket, and the Lakers are crushing Kentucky in the fine powder. 109.79. We're going to just end it because the safety safe. 116.85. Kentucky could not do anything against the Lakers. They didn't need George or Salastan. McGon played one minute, eight seconds. Mike Pratt played 25 minutes off the bench. Are there any fouls? No. Well, five fouls by Mike Gale, five fouls by AC Green, and Rick Fox. Fox had five fouls, and guy was like one of the last guys on the bench. So that's your final score. Lakers beat Kentucky. Shaq with points and rebounds with 27 points, 16 rebounds. Kobe with five assists. Dan Izzo put up 30 points. In the game, but the Colonels are O U T out. So they're been eliminated. Now let's head to New York. Battle Royale between the Nets and the Knicks. It's Dr. J versus Patrick Ewing. Practically. We'll just tip off. I played the first half of the first half. The first quarter, I should say. No. And those are the counts. High percentage shot. No. Three pointer. No. Foul. No. Patrick Ewing makes the bucket. Three pointer by Doc Rivers. Good. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off the ball we go. Shooting foul by Dr. J. Charlie Smith will miss both free throws. So that was not good. Keenan, finally, the Nets score a bucket. Taylor with the turnover. Ewing makes the bucket. Paltz with the foul. And Ewing makes the three-point play. Patrick Ewing is an icon. And Ewing now has seven points. He is crushing the Nets. Outscoring them heavily. Smith with the block. Oakley with the block. But Paltz makes the bucket. Oakley with the steal. And he makes a bucket. Irving good. He's now got six points. Well, it's Ewing seven, net six. You want to get technical? Ewing with the steal. We put a tap by Rivers. No. Offensive foul? No. 
Pelts with the block. Schaefer and Lander coming in. Lander, one of the guys with their numbers retired by a net. The first AB8 uh, stuff. Sharks can't hit a bucket. Trini Fallon Taylor, Doc will go to the line. One, two, buckle my shoe. Liner makes the bucket and finally the Nets are outscoring Patrick Ewing. Taylor with a second foul though. Malcioni has to come in. Doc to the line. Campbell and Mason are coming into the game. And two for Rivers. Malcioni makes the bucket. Forces Doc into a foul and three point play. Hi. Mason with the turnover. Schaefer with a two. Free throw by Schaefer. Good. Three point play. And the Nets are coming back. You misses it. Timeout. Roche and Dr. J come into the game. Well, Dr. J back in. Greg Anthony for Doc Rivers. That's the shot. Rare play. Shot is in an air ball. Roche makes the bucket. We're tied. Three-pointer on the way by Starks. Starks raving mad. That's a three-ball. Mason with a personal foul. Keaton comes in for Pulse. Hubert Davis comes in for Starks. Roche misses the shot. Free throws by Campbell after Schaefer fouls him. And two for Campbell. For the pass, Campbell makes a bucket. He's at four. Schaefer's at five. Ewing's got nine points. Where's the four? Keenan with the foul on Ewing, who will make it. He's got 12. Like you only need two free throws, 20 to 22. 20 to 22. No Gregor Sojourner or Gale yet. My Gale. He was with Kentucky. Thanks for sight. Anderson, Williams, and Blackman have yet to play. Smith, foul number six. Well, if a five-point lead, he's out. Anthony Mason has to come in. That's not good. You're out of the game. Right for his second foul. Williams into the line for two. Good. Now it's down to three. Starts another foul. Irving to the line. Makes both. He's at 28. Uh-oh. Oh, oh man. Williamson picks up his fifth foul. Starks will go to line and make one. Lock. No technical foul. Starks lucky. Mason will pick up foul number five. Irving for the three-point play. Got it. It's now the Nets by one. We are trying everything. I have a third shot. No. Ewing with the loose ball foul. They're in the penalty, so Pulse goes to the line for two. Got to. Now the Nets are up by three. Our research at Ewing, good. 92-91. Press. They beat the press. The Nets are going to let the clock, shot clock run down. Rivers fouls Taylor, who makes two free throws to make it 94-91. The Knicks need a three-point play. Blackman for three. No. And the Knicks call timeout. They still have the ball. Up reverse. Taylor does the smart move. And fouls him. Rivers missed and goes for the intentional miss.
defensive team rebound, and the Knicks choke a five-point lead, and the New York Nets survive the Knicks of 93-R-O-U-T. What a brutal fourth quarter. Everyone played. Mike Gale and Gary Krieger played two seconds. Blackman played ten seconds. But in the end, the Knicks are out of it. Field goal percentage, free throw percentage, 63% for the Knicks. That's pathetic. The Nets barely missed. Dr. J with 31.6 assists. Ewing had 22 points. I think there was there a disqualification or something. Well, Smith played 25 minutes. 1.6 personal fouls. Yeah, the Nets were 25 for 26 from the line. And the Knicks were 24 from 30 or from and 38. The Nets go to Seattle and Indiana. The 96 Sonics and the Pacers from, I can't remember which year this is. The 1970 Pacers from the ABA. We're going to go to the final three minutes because we're almost at the 20 minute threshold. We played Champagne Hawkins. Pacers call timeout with a 12 point lead trying to knock Seattle out of it and give the ABA another team. Daniels will take a free throw. Urban Johnson with the foul. 35 points by Mel Daniels. Seattle still has a bit of a chance. This is the shot. Three point attempt. Good. Roger Brown. Good morning, USA. I got a few. Well, Seattle, you are. Out of it. 110 to 90, the Pacers. That first quarter, 33 to 15. And then the fourth quarter. So those Pacers did well. No 20 point score for the Sonics. No Wingate or Snow. Kemp got a um, technical foul, but yeah. Trump, 19 points to lead it. Mal Daniels, 37 points, 18 rebounds. That's how, that's how you play the game if you're the Pacers. To take down the Sonics. Free throw percentage could have been a little bit better. But yeah, Seattle had nothing in the tank. And they're out. 89 Pistons versus the 91 Blazers. Who's going to be in? And for the first time, well, the first time today, we don't have a ABA team involved in the game. Percy takes a shot, misses, and a foul. No. Portland up by 12. Garrison up by 12. Dumars with his fourth foul. Porter comes in for Young. 89 Pistons, who ended the Lakers' dynasty in a sense. Low percentage shot, good. Those by Dantley. Down to 10. Turns the ball over. Pistons have a chance. And Porter will pick up foul number six. Danny Young will be coming in. So Thomas will get two shots and make one. That's not like I say at all. To miss both. To miss a free throw. Duckworth, good. Wah, wah. 11 points. Detroit needs something. Duckworth with a foul. Lambier makes two free throws. That's it. I say it with a steal. They go for two and they fucked it up. That is going to be probably the end of it. Three percent shot. Nope. This needs something up the court. A young steals it, games that match for Portland, I do believe. Percy makes the bucket. Three pointer, no. Detroit is fuming. They just couldn't get anything going today. And the Pith, the Blazers win 103 94. Great third quarter, especially the third quarter. They use everyone except for Abdelby. Dembo didn't get used for Detroit. Rodman got a technical foul. Isaiah, 23 points and 8 assists to lead. Drexler with 26.7 assists to lead his team, so nothing much. How many three-pointers were attempted? I don't think Detroit attempted any three-pointers, or did they? They're 0 for 3 from three-point. Portland was 2 for 13, yet they did better than Detroit because they couldn't make a free throw. So the home team won 2 and lost 2. So the 70 Pacers, 2000 Lakers, 91 Blazers, and 74 Nets all survived. So 
Well, we know one ABA team won, and that was the 76 Nuggets. And we know that the Colonels are out, but the Pacers and Nets are still in, so maybe the ABA might have advantage. Who knows, and who cares? Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.